Yeah. Okay, about the vomiting and how many days all this. Huh? So, ready? Okay, January 5th, 2014, this uh, female spade, seven year old cat came in on uh, two days ago. So, what's the history? She oh. vomited quite frequently at home. Yes. For how long? She has been doing that. The high frequency was over the past few days. Before that, she's been vomiting once or twice a week for the past two months. Two months. Uh. Any diarrhea? Not that we observe. Mm -hmm. Any loss of appetite? Uh, so far. So far, only after the vomiting started, in more in high frequency. Was there any uh, color? The color vomit is it yellow? Or it green? was solid at first from the all the food, mm -hmm. but after a while, it was just clear yellow liquid. And so, is the cat losing appetite or...? Uh, yes, uh, after the vomiting increased in frequency, the the appetite was a bit less. Okay, now, let me have a look at the colour of the membrane. I'll just slowly... Sometimes they don't mind. See whether it's pale or not. Okay, the colour is good. Okay, now, I will just have a quick check on the pain area it was done two days ago and the cat can remember me. Okay, just stroke his neck there and just talk to him. Huh? Yeah, I need the space. Okay. okay, come and see here. Okay, I just check. No, you just look at her in front. Look at her in front. Look at her in front. No, look at her in front. You hold her on, on, on the elbow there, on the, on the chair. Come, just talk to her. Just hey, I'm here. Hey, I'm here. Come, okay, I'll just check here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so, you bite you? A bit more. So, the pain is here. Okay. So this is still confirms that uh, mm. okay, hold her, I, I won't tell her. So this confirms that the big cat had jumped on her. The big cat is double the size, right? Yes. I uh, jumped on her and then uh, pounced on her. And actually there is pain on the hip early on two years ago. When I, when I checked here, there was pain. So uh, it's most likely traumatic injury. And uh, no. where's the hip? Uh? And, and traumatic injury. No. But there is no uh, bleeding, blood loss. They just told her, we'll, can they bring it out already? And uh, this cat is uh, not happy because of pain. Uh. I will give her the painkillers and... Hey, no, come here. Uh, I might slowly, slowly. And then, uh, so... Uh, hey, the hey, other cat hey. is to be separated away from this cat. Okay, don't, don't disturb her, she will, she will settle down. Then, uh, what happened is that... Uh, now that there is no blood test done, a blood test may show that there may be other problems like kidney or liver. Uh, but we won't do... Okay, we won't do the blood test till... Uh, if there's any more vomiting, if there's no more vomiting, if antibiotics and uh, painkillers for the next two weeks, then, uh, then uh, if the cat recovers, then we won't do any blood tests. Uh, but uh, the main diagnosis is uh, still traumatic injury. Hey, no. Spinal area. No, cannot go down. No, it's okay. It's okay. Take, take the carrier here, just one carrier there, just on the back. The blue back, please. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's alright. So, so, so the thing with the cat is that because at first she was quite happy, so if you don't touch her, she's it's alright. Uh, she has a good memory of being uh, when I felt it was painful, I felt that the side of the ribs and the kidney area was painful. So if, if she recovers, then we wouldn't do any uh, blood tests or x-rays or ultrasound. Yeah, quickly quick, open up, yeah. Okay, let's go in. Uh. Sometimes they, they feel secure when they go in. But some you don't feel sick of it slowly. Yeah. And then we just distract her first until. Okay, so so today is the third day actually yeah, of uh, resting. Uh, she wasn't given any, any injection because she was already fed up with my examination to show the owner where the pain is was here on both sides behind the ribcage, near the kidney, and uh, here this part. That's how you saw. And so this this signs shows that the big cat has jumped and probably grip her on, on the on the rib cage area rather than a kidney or liver uh, problem. But uh, we had to wait uh, one more with, uh, one, one or two weeks with the cat being isolated from the big cat which is uh, probably uh, six kilos. This is about three point eight five kilos and there's no fever. So some sometimes vomiting is not due to infectious cause. Uh, but it's due to, uh, I would say, bullying from the, the big fellow. 
so we need to ask the owner whether he has another cat. Okay, finish it. Thanks. <laughs>